Today I'm gonna go through the process of how I made edit for my entire Discord. Or how I rounded up everybody's clips and also made these insane blender transitions. Watch to the end, cause you guys will actually be surprised at the result. But first, we need to set some goals. Alright, we want our montage to be actually good, so by the end of the video we're gonna need an insane reaction from the Discord server. And also, let's hope they like the montage. Alright, let's get some clips. Finding the clips was relatively easy, I just pinged everyone on my Discord server to submit their clips. Some people sent insane clips and uh... <laughs> well, this still worked. If you were in the montage, it's probably because you submitted too late or the quality was too bad. Anyways, let's get into how I actually made it. For this montage, I wanted to go out, so I used any song, bro. I had a mixture of songs in this montage. So, for the syncing and the songs, I decided to use a variety of songs since the clips are going to be coming from all different people. For the edit, I decided to start off with Down Bad by Dreamville, and then Big Black Truck by J.I.T. And then we gotta have some Kanye, so we got part 1 and part 2 of Stra Father Starts My Hands. And of course we got ended off with some new stuff. Alright, once I use Twixter to sync up the clips, it's time for the 3D transitions. For some of the transitions on this video, I actually had to animate it. So, I went into Blender and I actually tried to cook something up. Okay. I don't have that much experience in Blender, aside from making Fortnite thumbnails, so we gotta just wing it. Oh, what are you doing? You're not I decided to use Eevee for the render because my computer would die if I tried to use Cycles. Anyways, I started off matching the theme by putting the Discord logo in and using some HDRIs to make the lighting. Then I found this lightning asset for free. Then I animated the sequences out and got an underlay for one of the buildups that actually looked pretty decent and a transition. Anyways, I ended up making this Discord boost transition because somebody boosted the server three times. Thanks to Oops. Next up, I tried to make a truck transition because of the song. So I started off making a 3D track of the footage for like an hour and long story short, it didn't really work. So I kind of just wasted my time, but I just manually put the truck in and uh, yeah, it's not that great, but I made the camera movement in DaVinci Resolve. Also made another part of the transition where the truck comes flying out and then explodes. Oh yeah, EV is literally insane, it renders super fast. This is literally a clip of it rendering in real time. Oh yeah, and also I made a tomato transition, but I'm not going to show you guys that until the end, so stick around. Alright, so now we got into the main parts of the edit, this is where it actually started to take shape. So I put all the clips into Runway ML so I can get the rotoscope. Then I used that roto to do all the skin glows. And yeah, I streamed some of the processes on my channel, so thank you for everyone who watched that stream. Anyways, we got some sick effects like this blue electricity skin glow and also added some Discord animations before. I also did some of the same effects throughout and this duplicate red and blue effect inspired by Foxy. We also got some pretty cool transitions here and I'll show how I made them. Alright, let's talk about how I made some of these DaVinci Resolve transitions, like the 3D stuff. First off, I made this paper transition with JID image in it. A lot of people might not notice that. And also used content over fill for the walls and background and then cut out the frame into individual pieces. And then I had to make this whole 3D scene and then use duplicate 3D node on the trees. It actually looked pretty decent. Also made an insane 3D like GE6 type effect on the beat drop for Father Stretch My Hands. So I started out by rotoring the character and putting it into a 3D scene with a bunch of clouds. I don't know if it really turned out that great, but yeah. Later on in the edit we also got some other sick stuff and yeah, a lot of the effects made were used to doing presets from like this guy called Escape Edits. It makes some really cool stuff for DaVinci Resolve, not sponsored by the way. I also made this sick edited by sequence near the end and another transition like it. And you don't want to know how long this one took me. I literally had to mask out every part of the frame and cut it out so I could look through the 3D camera. Anyways, at the end of the montage I typed everyone's name into the credits and also made some quick transitions between the text. That final edit actually made, ended up insane so check it out on screen right now. Sorry for being a little late on this video but make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, not, not the Halloween yes, thing. Sir, oh my goodness. Oh. Bro, if this doesn't get a million views, then... Um, that is a W montage. Insane. I'm not what? 